All right, beautiful people, you're tapped into the number one spot for your mindset, wellness, and transformation. I'm your girl, Miss Tony Yolanda. In this video, I'm going to give some history, knowledge about the term wellness, where it came from, who started it, and where I personally feel it's going and drifting and shifting into. So if you want to find out some more, keep watching. All right, so we hear this term a lot, wellness, 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 tapping into who we are, self-awareness, mental clarity. Uh, we hear a lot about mental health today, but what is the true foundation of wellness? What is wellness? Is it just being fit and eating right? Is it just thinking right? Is it just one thing in a whole health spectrum overview? No, it actually taps into a lot of different dimensions. It taps into a lot of understanding of areas in our life that we want to improve. This is why the foundation of our mindset is important. And if you haven't tapped into my previous video, a fixed and growth mindset, make sure you go tap into that. Links are below. I'll definitely add it in here somewhere where you guys can go check out. So with that being said, our personal development and our wellness go hand in hand. They coincide with each other. And it pretty much gives us an overstanding. Just think about it for a minute. We haven't really been hearing people talk about wellness, you know, back in the day, you know, just most recently, I would say pretty much the 19th century when it started kicking off and slowly giving some momentum behind it. But the word wellness and people using it like how they use it today was not even heard of back in the day. When I was going to school back in 2008, that term wellness wasn't really surrounded by what I was going to school for, although I was in a wellness niche, esthetician and massage therapy, but it was more just, um, I can definitely say like spa, spa atmosphere. That's how I would harness what I was doing. I wouldn't really consider it as like a wellness thing because I wasn't in terms with it. And that's not what the teachers were teaching. So that's what it is. So we most recently started hearing this term wellness ever so recently, and it just seems like it's blowing up. But like I said before, the foundation of it, I'm going to give you guys some overstanding on it, where it came from, who actually started it and where I feel it's drifting into. Wellness back in the day, I'm talking ancient civilization days. This term wellness was actually called ancient roots. Now I'm speaking from like Rome, Greece, and Asia civilizations way back in the day when like Chinese traditional medicine was around and when they were using like the herbs and just the natural resources to help them adapt and heal themselves. So we are well aware that, you know, natural resources have been there. This is what they were tapping into way back in the day. And those ancient roots was their medicine, you know, that was their preventative care. And then we zoom right into the 19th century and this is when everything started to evolve and change, but also carrying the Chinese medicine and the natural herbs and stuff, it was always there. This term wellness started coming about in about the 1950s, um, a man known as the father of wellness, Dr. Albert Dunn, he wrote a book in 1961 called High Level Wellness. I'm definitely going to leave a link below. And it took him 10 years to actually write that book because during that 10 years, he was actually putting in the work, getting his research, doing his due diligence and, you know, building that foundation of what he called wellness. He taps into different dimensions of wellness. Later video, different time, because that is another key component of our wellness that we should overstand on a deeper vibe. The different dimensions of wellness is another like catalyst to our growth. Now, mind you, the 10 years was just pretty much his groundwork. Not to say in 10 years, everything blew up because from the 1950s, you know, doing his research and trying to get the, to the masses and overstanding of wellness. He wrote the book in 1961. And then from there, world's first wellness center in 1975. So we can see from like the 1950s to 1975, where and what he was doing. Also must add that it is a process. So just be patient with yourself. You know, it's going to take time. And when I say time, I really do mean time. It could be months. It could be years. It could be a very long time for you to even 
shift into the person or where you feel is necessary for your growth it's going to take time so please just be patient with yourself yes we're gonna fall back we have to learn how to bounce back from falling back national wellness institute defines wellness as an active process through which people become aware of and make choices toward a more healthy and successful existence Wellness is a conscious, self-directed, and evolving process of achieving full potential. Pretty much putting in the work, tapping into your growth mindset, and you know, improving on your personal development in many areas of your life. It's not just one thing. So that definition of wellness is from the National Wellness Institute. I'm going to read to you what Dr. Albert L. Dunn was saying back in the 1950s as to what wellness was or wellness is an integrated method of functioning which is oriented towards maximizing the potential of which the individual is capable within the environment where he is functioning so your environment wherever you are whatever status you have you are looking to improve you are tapping in and understanding where you need to build on your strengths and you're always looking forward to do so functioning and improving and just having that growth mindset once again. So we can definitely see that it didn't change much when it came to the terms and the meaning behind it and the foundation of what wellness is. The only thing that was really missing was us actually tapping into it on a deeper vibe, overstanding it and actually implementing it in our life to improve our life. Well, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, straight to the point. I see nothing but positivity growing from it. I see a lot of growth going with it. Um, like I mentioned before, wellness is a whole thing. It's not just one thing. So there's a lots of different dimensions that can be tapped into. But when we are speaking on like a humanity um, basis, I see a lot of positive movement when it comes to social activities. Uh, people starting to become more self-aware, understanding their self, their emotions, and knowing that the foundation to their growth is their mindset. It's, it's unbelievable because everything's evolving. We have apps for meditation. Like we have apps to be productive. <laughs> like that's just a small list. I see a lot of employers. Um, implementing corporate wellness into their organization to give the employees uh, access to wellness tools and resources to improve on their own individual process, which is very good because it only makes sense to have the environment where we spend 50% of our time, maybe even more. Doing so is only going to shift the productivity level even higher getting more things done because now you have happy people at work instead of having angry people at work so we can definitely see a positive outcome for that and with that being said when it comes to entrepreneurs and individual companies and private businesses um we're gonna see a lot of partnerships it's not just gonna be one person like that CEO, like, no, we're not going to just see the CEO. We're going to see a team of CEOs, if that makes sense, um, for the lack of terms, collaborating with different business owners and pushing out better vibes when it comes to wellness. Because like I said, mental wellness, mental health, and just a lot of depression and whatnot is out there. And we need to learn how to come together to push out the vibes of positivity, love, and support. If you found that this video was helpful, I provided somewhat of a value to you, gave you some history knowledge on the term wellness, where it came from. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, because I'm coming every Wednesday with new content for your mind, your wellness, and your transformation. I'm your girl, Miss Tony Yolanda. Until next time, stay up, stay blessed, and stay true to yourself. Peace.